Hi guys, Maglin Ben here with a new project. Something a friend of mine has me building. The Laser Heart Project is a pretty interesting concept. You take a laser beam, you break the beam, and a MIDI note plays, right? Now, either you could do a bunch of laser diodes or you could do a single one and just split the beam up. Well, splitting the beam up dynamically is a little bit more difficult but if we turn the beam on and off at a certain interval and then we have a mirror attached to a stepper motor we can cause that beam to you know lean off at an angle in space and then you present that to you know your audience and you're left with a fan shape of uh, laser beams in front of you from one one source so that's what this thing is all about and we're going to take a look at how this came to be all right uh let's see if i can get focus on it this is the standard um four wire bipolar stepper motor wiring schematic for the arduino okay we have a um quadruple half bridge chip i think i have a L293D chip that was left over that's obsolete now and in this they recommend a SN754410 I think anyways the point is, is the outputs of that chip there's four of them and you wire each of the four wires to those outputs in a certain sequence and then you wire the enables to four of your digital pins on the Arduino uh, serve it up some power and ground from the Arduino and then your motor can run on an external power source So if you have a 36 volt motor you have a 36 volt power supply and oh, oh, oh look at that there And that is what that is right there All right, so the code for this project is pretty freaking simple um, I will go ahead and paste this into the comments but, for all intents and purposes, um, I'll walk you through it real fast so you can understand what's going on. And hopefully my screensaver doesn't give me trouble. Alright, so right at the top we include uh, stepper motor drivers uh, software, the include library for that. Um, this is a 1.8 degree motor, which is 200 steps per full revolution, which is what the define there is. We create a new object called stepper and define its steps and what four pins the controller is hooked up to. Uh, we set up its speed, which is in this case 150 rotations per minute. Um, I do not know what the optimal speed of the stepper motor is that I have here because it's a junk one out of some old computer probably. And then uh, I step it back negative uh, 15 steps. So that starts in the, in the full back position. So the last laser beam when it's uh, presented to the audience that's where it's sitting and then we go into the loop and we loop seven times and every time we uh, we hit the loop we step five times which is a total of nine degrees and so every nine degrees is another beam and nine degrees um, about four feet off the ground so you have you have one that's sticking straight up right and then nine degrees off of that four feet off the ground and you're left with about seven inches of separation between the beams which is good if you have big wide meat paws and then uh, we do that so we do that loop seven times and then we just uh, step back to the beginning where we had uh, where we had started uh, up in the setup okay so there's that and what we're gonna do is power this thing up so I'm gonna I'm going to get it all plugged together and hit the reset pin and bring you back. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, the motor's uh, off running away itself while I was getting the camera back. So we're going to reset the Arduino. And before we do that, I want to change the view of the, the camera here. And you can see it wasn't perfectly um, calibrated when I started. So we'll just... Oh, it goes really fast. Uh, close enough and you can see here the, the the zip tie is playing the role of beam and you can actually see almost seven different um, 
distinct. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on this because of the frame rate and everything, but you can see the full spread of uh, the, the what eventually will be the beam. Um, in, you know, the zip tie is playing the place of that, but uh, you can see what the spread will look like. And keep in mind the zip tie is all of two inches long, so you're not the beam's not separated fully. Um, definitely when uh, it gets to about four feet off the ground, which is the height in which I was considering being the, the playing height of the instrument. Now, if I was just to glue a mirror to the surface of this little pulley here, um, it would cause the effect to be weird. What I need to do is actually glue the mirror um, offset so that the, the first, it's got to be a first surface mirror, so that the, the surface in the mirror is perfectly along the middle line of this shaft right here. And then this, this uh, stepper motor's got a bit of beef to it, and what I'm going to do is also connect it to that will be a parallax sensor a little farther out. And as you reach into the beam, you know, as, you, as, your, as your finger breaks the beam, um, the, it will reflect the light back down into a, an LDR. The LDR will be like, oh, I see light, and I'm at X position. So the note associated to that position, go ahead and start playing that note. And then the, the range finder will actually allow you to do note bending. So if you, if you break the middle C, and then you push your hand down, it'll drop. It'll be like bending the string on a guitar. And that's what the range finder will allow you to do. Um, obviously, it doesn't need the range finder in order to work, but it'll be one of those features that makes it a little neater than your average normal, normal uh, laser heart. Um, so right now, uh, the bench test is good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, we need to add a laser, obviously, and that's getting sourced currently. Need to add a parallax range finder, which is being sourced. Um, we're also going to add a series of buttons and a display screen so that you can do calibrations and change what notes are going to play, change what mode you're in. Um, this will be designed to hook directly up to uh, a musical Tesla coil uh, via an interrupt. There will be an interrupt pin directly on it so that you can, uh, the, the musical note that you're playing is actually literally the hertz of, uh, uh, of a musical note. And by bending the note, you can, you just add a couple or subtract a couple of hertz. And so you'll get, you'll get pretty interesting effects doing that. And then, of course, you can always uh, stack the note quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to achieve that. That's, you know, down the road development. But uh, for the time being, as you can see, she's, uh, she's running away happily with herself. And there's minimal amount of fuss with this to get it to work. Um, disregard this over here. That's from uh, testing. Uh, there's a motor knob example script that this is built off of. And that was, you know, that was the knob. But anyways, there you go. Laser Harp intro video. Um, it's always nice to see things moving. That's a, that's a lot of, you know, motivation to go ahead and keep moving forward with the project. So, uh, we'll go ahead and probably see another video on this series in a week or three or four, depending on how fast uh, the other person can get the laser in their hands. And as soon as I have that, we'll do a, a couple of dark tests to see if we're actually getting a nice, uh, a nice laser fan. And then it's uh, all downhill from there because basic sensors and whatnot and some simple scripting. And we're probably playing some MIDI notes pretty quick. Alright, so remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, you know, advice, if you've built one of your own, uh, go ahead and leave a comment. And we'll catch you next time.